hello and welcome today we are going to create a free artos based esp32 simple blinky application if you are able to view this demo on esp32 it is right now blinking with the free artos and if you want to see the serial output it is simply saying the led is on and running on core zero these are two information that we are being displayed continuously on a serial monitor inside or task so let's get to the code and see how we done this let's let's create a purely new uh, program and inside this we need to create two things first we defined led pin which is onboard led on uh, gpio2 and the next thing we need to create a task handle which is in our case simply led task handle and initially it is pointed to null the next thing we create a function which will be used as a task in our case it is purely a simple function with a parameter of a pointer to void which is used as an input parameter if we want to provide any parameter to the task but in this tutorial we are not going to provide any task to keep this tutorial as simple as possible as you may know we are displaying the information of which core the over task is currently being run because the esp32 module is dual core processor so the implementation of the free rtos task is a little bit uh, different a lot uh, from the regular free rtos based task create function so we will be displaying the which core the over task is currently being running and we can get this information with this information which is uh, this function which is export get core id next we will create an infinite loop because our task will be running just like any other embedded system program which run with infinite loop so the over blinking will be continuously on so until we power off the board so this is the infinite loop which is running with the LED blinking inside that infinite loop the toggling is pretty straightforward just like any other Arduino function where we where we write the pin information with the digital write function we first put the pin to the high and then to the low and the serial printf is simply being used to display the core id because this is using printf function so this may need a little bit bit more stack in size to handle this we'll deal with that later and explain one Thing is missing which is delay we are not going to use the traditional delay function which we used to doing with Arduino function instead we will be using the free RTOS based uh, delay which will tell the free RTOS that this amount of uh, ticks you can take the control away from this task so it could be used with other tasks as well this task delay is very simple which is a small v and task delay and uh, because we want a thousand millisecond delay but instead of uh, just putting a thousand we need to divide it with the ticks because this task delay is not taking the amount of milliseconds it has to delay rather it is taking the amount of ticks it need to delay so to get the the millisecond converted into the ticks we need to divide with this header which is port tick port period and ms so it will convert it into a thousand milliseconds delay we can repeat this delay here as well so our led blinking task is complete so now we need to uh, use the setup where we need to initialize our digital pin as an output and we need to first of all let's initialize the serial with the serial dot begin with the 11.5200 baud rate and uh, the next thing we can initialize the pin mode led pin as an output and after that we write the low to turn off the onboard led and the next thing we had to create a x task create pinned 
to core function this will create our task and we had to feed some information to in create our task to be scheduled and first thing is the task function which function we had to use as a led task this is the function we created before so we just simply passing this first parameter to this function and the next thing we need to pass a string which is a task name why we have to provide this string because it will be later on used as a debugging purposes and we can use this as a various information which we handle over task later and the next thing is a stack size we are providing 2 kb of stack because of the serial overhead the over led blinking task is handling otherwise it will simply stack overflow and reset the esp32 board frequently the next thing is a task parameter remember i have told you that this uh, we can provide some parameters to our task function and there this is a pointer and here we can we can provide because we are not providing any parameters to the task for now we are simply giving this as a null and the next thing is a task priority we can provide this to 1 to 24 or 0 to 24 the lower it will get a lower priority and the higher priority will be executed first and the next thing is a handle the led task handle we created initially and we are passing a reference remember this is a handle which is null initially and we when we come down and we uh, passing a re um, reference to this task create it will create a task and it will return a handle to that task so that you can suspend delete or resume the task or any other thing that you have to do with the task later after creating this uh, task so in the next tutorial we will show you how we can suspend and resume a task based on this LED task handle but for now just assume that it has to be passed like that and after that all you have to do is to provide a core number remember the ESP32 is a, two, a dual core processor a microcontroller or a development board embedded system whatever you call it uh, please make sure to call it a uh, it is a dual core remember so we can choose which core we want to run our task on here we are providing a core one we can give a core zero or one and that's why we are using x task create pinned to core function rather than x task create if we use uh, the traditional free artos x task create it will tell the free artos to create a task on whatever core it likes so that's how we create our task and once we done with all that we can simply save the file and program this onto our arduino board let's call it led blinking and this led blink will simply uh, upload it to our development board now if we open the serial terminal it will be displaying the information of the running core let's try to change the stack size and you will notice what will happen if you change the stack size back to 1k and let's try to re-upload so you may uh, see what happen if a stack overflow does So let's change this stack size back to 242k and uh, uh, let's try to change the core and uh, let's re-upload. Now you can see that our LED task is running on core 0. So that's it for today's tutorial. In the next tutorial we'll use the LED task handle and we'll try to suspend and resume with a button press so you can see how this task handle could be used. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and so you stay tuned and press the bell icon so the upcoming video will be notified. And if that video is already being uploaded you can see uh, in my channel or uh, uh, in the description below so that's it for today's tutorial tutorial see you